Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can swap tools by clicking. So this is the way it's going to look here. So you can click to equip a tool. And then whenever you go to the next tool to equip it, it's going to swap it out. So now I have the rocket launcher instead of the baseball bat. And if I click on a new one, it's just going to continue to swap it out. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in and see how we can do this in Roblox Studio. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So this is gonna work best for tools that are either composed of a single part or a union part, where that part is called handle. So it'll look something like this here. So inside the tool, you're just gonna have a single part or maybe a union part, and that should be called handle. Okay, inside of this handle part, we're gonna be adding a click detector. And you're gonna do that for each tool that you're gonna have in your game. So this is for the rocket launcher. So for its handle part, you also have a click detector. What we're gonna do first to make sure that the player can't equip the tool by touching it, is we're going to rename the handle part to something like main. And you're gonna do that for each tool in the game. So that was for the baseball bat. So down here for the rocket launcher, go ahead and right click on handle and then rename this one to main as well. Okay, after that, we're gonna be adding a script directly inside of the tool. Okay, so inside of the script, the first thing we're gonna do is make a variable for the tool itself. So we'll say local tool, and that's gonna be equal to script dot parent. After that, we're going to make a variable for the main part. So that'll be local main. And this is going to be equal to tool dot main. So if you called your main part something different, then make sure you update it right here. So I did dot main because that matches this part right here. And the last variable that we're going to make is for the click detector. So we're going to say local click. And that is going to be equal to main because that's the part it's located inside. And then we're going to say dot click detector. After that, we're going to make a function that'll run whenever this part gets clicked. So we'll say local function. The name of this function is going to be swap underscore tools. Inside the parentheses, we're going to put player. The first thing we're going to do inside this function is check to see whether the player has a tool or not. So we'll say local current tool. And that's going to be equal to player dot backpack. And then we're going to say colon find first child. And then since we're looking for a type of object and not a particular tool, we're going to say which is a. Inside the parentheses, we're going to be checking for a tool. So we'll put that inside of quotation marks. Okay, next we're going to say if current tool then. So this will mean the player currently has a tool in their backpack and we would want to switch it out. So to do that, we're going to start by saying current tool dot handle. And then we're going to say dot name. And that's going to be equal to main. This part right here may not make sense because we changed the name of the handle part to main earlier in the video. But just hang on for just a second. We're going to get to it later in the script. Next, we're going to say current tool dot parent. And that's going to be equal to game dot workspace. And then we're going to set its position. So we're going to say current tool dot main. So we're saying dot main now because we changed the name of it right here. Okay, so we're going to say current tool dot main dot position. And that's going to be equal to the other tool's position. And we're going to get that by saying main dot position. This may be a little bit confusing at first, but let's go ahead and write the whole script and then I'll explain what's going on. And outside this if statement here is how we're actually going to equip the tool. So we're going to say main dot name. And this is going to be equal to handle. And then we're going to say tool dot parent. And that's going to be equal to player dot backpack. And then finally down here at the bottom, we're going to connect this function with the click event. So we'll say click dot mouse click. And then we're going to say colon connect. And then we're going to connect this with our function, which is called swap underscore tools. All right, so let's go back and explain what's going on in the script. And let's assume first that the player does not have a tool already. So this section right here is going to be skipped because they don't have a tool. 
So all it's going to do for the script is going to change the main part, which right now it's called main, and it's going to rename that to handle. And the reason we're doing that is because when a tool gets equipped, it needs to have a part named handle to actually be held. And then to put it inside the player's backpack, that's what this line right here is doing. Okay, so the other case is going to be when the player has a tool in their backpack. So in that case, it's going to go through this section right here. And what it's going to do, it's going to change the handle back to main. And remember the reason we're doing that from before, so the player can't touch it to equip it. So we're going from handle back to main. And then we're putting it back in the workspace. And then we're going to give it a new position. And that position is going to be at the same spot as the other tool. Let's assume I have a tool in my backpack, and it's this one right here. When my player clicks on the rocket launcher over here, then the position for this one, which is currently in my backpack, is going to be set exactly the same as this one right here. So when I click on it, it's just going to swap positions. So the rocket launcher will go in my backpack, and then the baseball bat will go at the same position as the rocket. All right, so once you write the script for one of them, you're just going to add it to each tool that you want this to work for. So we just wrote it for the baseball bat. To copy it for the other tools, you're just going to right-click on it, press Copy, and then for the other tool, you're going to right-click, and then press Paste Into. And once you do that, you should have the same script that we just wrote. You can do this for as many tools as you want to. Just make sure that you rename the handle part to Main, you add a click detector, and also the script that we just wrote. All right, so let's go ahead and test it out one more time, and just make sure everything's working. Okay, so right now I do not have a tool in my backpack, so it's going to skip this section right here. And it's only going to do these two lines right here. So it's going to change the tool's main part to handle, and then put it inside the backpack. Okay, and there we go. And if we look inside the player's backpack, we have the baseball bat, and then the main part got renamed to handle, that way we can equip it. Okay, and then if I come over to this part right here, since I have a tool in my backpack already, it's going to run these lines of code first, and then do these two. Okay, and we can see that the baseball bat just took the place of the rocket launcher, and now I have the rocket launcher inside of the backpack. Alright, so that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for the next one.